thank you so much for your time in doing this interview with us. Now, you're doing some really important work um, at the African desk, and this is around integration. And so how are you helping that across the African continent? Uh, thank you for your time also, Madam, and the invitation. First of all, I'd like to congratulate uh, uh, Lord Maland for inviting us in uh, this uh, important summit, uh, which is related to trade and investment. And um, uh, you are aware for sure that uh, African, African countries has, uh, have agreed to create a single market across Africa uh, uh, in the chapter of what we are calling African Continental Free Trade Area. As, as African Desk, we are trying to help African countries for the full implementation of uh, the agreement related to that African Continental Free Trade Area as a single market. Mm. So uh, we are here for that and we are trying really to, to raise the voice of Africa. Uh, Africa has to become a, a very crucial partner uh, 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 across 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 the across the world uh, that is our objective right. that's a very important goal to achieve and I imagine that the Commonwealth has a role to play what role do you see the Commonwealth playing in helping this trade facilitation across the African continent well uh, the Commonwealth is a, a very important uh, uh, partner for Africa why because the Commonwealth uh, link links uh, 56 countries across the world uh, Africa is a block, as of sure, to diversify partners. And uh, we can't find better partner like a, a Commonwealth. And I think that uh, the Commonwealth Enterprise and Investment Council uh, should be seen as a very, very uh, important partner for Africa. As as African Desk, um, an institution which works with uh, many, many institutions in, uh, institutions in, uh, in Africa, uh, both in private and public sector, we think that we can be the link between uh, uh, Commonwealth Enterprise and uh, Investment uh, Council and uh, many institutions in Africa. Hmm. So how important do you see PPP in this? Like what role, how are, how are you helping to see the role that investors can play in this and bringing in that foreign investment that's crucial across the continent? We can't imagine a development without PPP uh, uh, vision. Actually, uh, the public is working for the well-being of uh, private. The private can't also make profit without public or the inter intervention of public. So we think that uh, uh, it's very important to consider every time we need to, uh, uh, to think about the development of uh, business, we have to consider PPP. And I do support the idea of PPP in any ways. Some of the things that we've been hearing this morning is about trade barriers, and there's, you know, there's been obviously uh, conversations around what this looks like for different parts of the world. I imagine it's the same for the African continent. Is that something that your organization is working towards in terms of facilitating trade and reducing these barriers? Of course. Uh, uh, one of the pillars that uh, we are working on as African Desk is to remove all the barriers, be it uh, uh, physical barriers or non-tariff uh, uh, non barriers, we need to remove all the barriers so that we can easy trade across Africa. The objective of Africa, as I told you, is to improve intra-African intra -intra -intra trade. So we can't uh, move good from uh, north to south, to, from east to west, without removing the barriers which are uh, constitutes the bottleneck mm. of, uh, of, uh, of trade. So um, one of the pillars of African Desk is for sure trade facilitation. And uh, we think that we have really uh, to remove all the bottlenecks uh, uh, for uh, all, the, all the, what can I say, the barriers against uh, uh, trade and to have a really free, uh, free borders. Free border, free borders uh, in in Africa, so that good can go from Lekere uh, in uh, Egypt to Cairo to in Egypt to Cape Town in uh, South Africa, from uh, uh, Tanzania in uh, Eastern Africa to Lobito in uh, uh, Western Africa. Mm. So uh, that is uh, the point that I can I can say on uh, on this uh, question. Mr. Saiga, my last question is: um, the Prime Prime Minister made a really important. Um, uh, comment around ensuring that there are tailor-made solutions that you know anything post-COVID needs sort of a united collective response especially to liberalizing trade right across the Commonwealth 
for Africa, but it also mean a tailor-made solution. It doesn't mean that you can take one that works in one part of the world to the other. Is that something that you see your organization working when, you know, looking at trade facilitation? Yes. Uh, first of all, we have to recognize that uh, uh, whenever you have a global problem, you need a global solution. And you can't get a global solution without consultation. So uh, Commonwealth is a link between all the continents of Africa. That's why I was telling you, uh, viewing by, uh, uh, by um, uh, African, African institution, which is African desk is an African institution or a pan-African institution, but that not means that African desk uh, um, does not need, you know, to work with uh, other institutions across the world. So I think that uh, one of the uh, advice that I can give is to say, African countries has to consider Commonwealth as an opportunity to diversify partnership. And uh, uh, today, since we are looking at Africa as a single market, as a, an economic block, we need really uh, a partnership with uh, Commonwealth, Commonwealth Enterprise and Investment Council because it's a tool for us. It's a tool for us, you know, to diversify the economies of Africa. And uh, we will not say economies of Africa because now we are targeting to have one economy for all Africa. Amazing. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Just to thank you again for this invitation and uh, for this conversation. I think that it will be a, a fruitful one for uh, other people who are looking at us from uh, watching from uh, watching from Africa, from uh, other uh, region of the world, uh, to say uh, the Commonwealth Enterprise and Investment Council is really a good partner and a huge that other partners of African Desk should join us and join the ends for a strong Africa. Thank you so much, Mr. Saiba. Thank you for Mama Africa. <laughs> <laughs>